As you examine the Experion workflow, it might be helpful to have an understanding of the microfluidic technology functioning within the system. The Experion analysis chip houses the lab chip technology developed by Caliper Life Sciences. The chip is really a powerful miniaturized device, much like a tiny laboratory, which combines the functionality of several larger benchtop laboratory instruments. This technology is a combination of semiconductor manufacturing processes and wet chemistry laboratory techniques. The lab chip manufacturing uses photolithography and etching techniques. First, a glass substrate is covered with a light sensitive photoresist. A mask then covers both the photoresist and the substrate. UV light is applied to develop the photoresist. The exposed photoresist is removed to reveal the path to the glass substrate. This makes the glass available to chemical etching, which produces highly uniform microchannels within the glass. Finally, a second layer of glass is thermally bonded to the etched glass chip to seal the microchannel. This manufacturing process minimizes chip-to-chip -chip geometrical variations, with a typical channel cross-section having characteristic dimensions of between 10 and 100 microns, similar to that of a human hair. When the chips are used for separations, gel solution is injected into the chip's microchannels. In the presence of gel, electroosmotic transport in the microchannels is suppressed, so that electrophoretic mobility acts as the only transport mechanism. By controlling voltage or current at the chip wells, small volumes of analyte can be extracted from one channel and injected into another. Using this technique, samples can be made to fill interconnecting channels and can be directed to move through an intersecting network of microchannels. The Experion analysis chip is a complex network of these wells and microchannels. Within the chip, the process begins by controlling the current or voltage at the appropriate wells to move the sample into the loading channel, continuing past the separation channel intersection. The current is then redirected and a portion of the sample is injected into the separation channel, where it begins to separate the sample. As the sample fragments pass through the laser, the dye bound to the sample is excited and detected through laser-induced fluorescence. The process then continues on to the remaining samples. 10 protein samples or up to 12 RNA samples can be analyzed by this method in approximately 30 minutes.